What is this store so excited about? This is where Lunchables live, Mom. If we get separated, try and join a white family. You will be safe there until I can find you. Okay, so the first season of the show, the, um, Fresh Off the Boat, got a lot of attention for being the first sitcom in 20 years to feature an uh, Asian American family. Now you're in your second season. What kind of new ground you're breaking this time? Well, I think the first season, a big part of it was just breaking through the anxiety that the Asian community felt um, in, you know, having their own story, which, you know, we never have had. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go along with that. Like, one family can't obviously represent all families, but at the same time, if there's a 20-year drought between shows, you want to, like, do the best you can to, like, honor uh, as many people's experiences as you can. Oh, how you like the Shaolong Bao I pack you? It was really good. Liar. I did not pack Shaolong Bao! And I think second year, now that we've sort of <laughs> earned that trust, I think it's more about navigating very um, American human experiences, such as like, I don't know, Halloween, <laughs> or like Eddie going through puberty and getting a girlfriend. These are things that don't really have to do with race, but the lens through which we view them is, um, is special and specific, and it's um, unique. And so I think just embracing that instead of shying away from it um, and having fun while we're doing it. Of course, another thing you have, to, you have to navigate soon is awards season because you're getting a lot of buzz for your breakout performance. <laughs> no, as Jessica Huang on the show, who is the mother of this, you know, uh, of, of this family. And you guys put out a really interesting kind of for your consideration Golden Globes clip. It, tell me a bit about that. Oh yeah, I mean we we played it as if. It was in the 90s, because our show takes place in the 90s, and it was the year that Mel Gibson won Best Director over Ang Lee. And so um, I think it was kind of being cheeky and that everyone knows Ang Lee's a wonderful director, but also the fact that, like, um, an Asian has never really been nominated for a leading role category in almost any of the award shows. Fancy boys, anything is possible if you study hard and become a lawyer. Ang Lee isn't a... It's, it's having a little humor at that, but it's also saying, hey, we're trying to do this and share this story. And, like, it would be so great if, like, you could, like, represent us or help us. You were born in Richmond, Virginia, mm -hmm. but your parents came from Taiwan. Yes. And um, on the show, you play a woman who also comes from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, um, what does your family think of the show? Do, you ever, do they ever give you any feedback about your performance, about the, some of the storylines? What do they say about it? I mean, my family's incredibly proud. I think it's really exciting for them. I, I know that they know that I've struggled as an actor for a long time. I've definitely <laughs> waited a lot of tables, done a lot of part-time jobs. Um, they also knew that it just was something that I was never going to quit at. And so now that they know that I could actually be financially viable in it, um, I think that's quite exciting for them. Um, and, and it's even better that I get to speak a little bit of my Mandarin on the show for my parents. They love that. You know, I have two kids, 10, 13. They're taking Mandarin. And I'm wondering, uh, and your, your character in the show speaks Mandarin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would she have any advice for kids taking the language, or my kids in particular? My character? Yeah, your character. What kind of advice would she give? I mean, this wouldn't be my personal advice, but my character's advice, Jessica, I mean, she thinks that you should excel at everything you do. <laughs> Work hard, be the best, uh -huh. you know? And what would your advice be? I'd say that don't measure a success by your accomplishments. Uh -huh. I would say you measure it by how much, how much joy you're putting out in the world. Now, I follow you on Twitter, and you tweet more about David Foster Wallace than <laughs> most people ever do on social media. I'm actually more a fan of his nonfiction than his fiction, mm. and I like the way he breaks down an argument um, and the way he thinks about things. And it's, it's a way that I would like to approach problems um, or questions I have or differing viewpoints. Um, I think it's smart, I think it's articulate, it's kind, and it's compassionate the way he did it. Now, you, you've also tweeted that 
Mark Ruffalo is your favorite actor, favorite living actor. <laughs> I know, recently, I cried when I met him. Yeah, you recently met him. Tell me, why did you get so emotionally uh, emotional upon meeting him? I mean, if you look at his work in something like, like you can count him, like I'm gonna start crying now, or like The Normal Heart. I'll, I'll agree to the fact that I have any number of awful character traits, but not to the fact that whatever awful things they did to us made me sick and gay while you stayed straight and healthy. I think it's very special when an actor brings so much humanity to his work, um, and not in like a show-offy type of like masturbatory way, which you see in like drama schools across the nation. I mean, he really does it with so much heart in a lot of the roles he plays, and I think that's very special and courageous and. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that blows You're getting me. emotional now? I am, I am. <laughs> well, I am, it moves me, it really does. Well, on that note, Constance Wu, one of the stars <laughs> of Fresh Off the Boat, thanks for coming to the Wall Street Journal. Thank you so much, pleasure to be here.